So this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your reading. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my readings. Also, if you're into daily horoscopes, you can follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or my Twitter at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here. And if at any point you would like a personal session, that information is always listed in the description box. Um, feel free to check that out if you want a session. Gemini's for April 2021. Gemini's. Okay. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So your current self, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so starting off in April, it's going to be about how you can have more stability in your life. Um, so for some of you work wise, you could be wanting more money. So this is trying to, you know, put in more hours at your job or trying to step up your performance so that you can get more hours or get promoted in a sense. Um, also with the Ace of Pentacles, some of you may not necessarily have a job right now. So this is like you being on the hunt or the search for a job that's not only going to be a good job for you, but also something that's going to pay you a little bit more than what you may have been making at your previous job. Um, also with the Ace of Pentacles, you could be wondering whether or not a relationship or not a relationship, a connection you may have with someone is headed towards like more of a stable energy hmm what else did I want to say with this yeah this is just trying to get overall stability now the personal theme for the month we do have the six of wands which is really really positive um this is you either tapping into the energy of success. Um, this could be through you, like, again, setting your eyes on a certain goal and successfully completing that goal. Or this is the energy of you guys um, trying to achieve just overall success. And this could be, like I said, through more focused action, you guys having more of an understanding of what your goals look like. And... This is you guys staying set on that, you know, how I put this into words. This is you guys being set on a plan, basically. So the personal theme is success. Also with the six of wands, you may find yourself um, like attracting a lot of people to you, whether this is like older individuals in your life, like people you have established relationships with or even newer people. Okay. Now, what you will accomplish, we do have the Six of Swords. So again, just very positive cards. Um, Six of Swords, this is you being able to move to a better mental space. Um, this is also you moving to a better space in terms of communication with someone close to you. So you and somebody who you may have had arguments with, you guys may be moving to a better place and, and moving on from that. Um, also with the six of swords, hmm, what you may also accomplish is moving. Some of you may be, or may have been in this energy of wanting to move for a while. And then you finally get an opportunity to move. Okay. Especially if it's like overseas. Now, what you should avoid we do have the three of pentacles. So this is anybody who you know is trying to put you in a third party situation or has you in a third party situation and isn't really like pressed to do anything about that anytime soon. Like they're okay with that arrangement and may not necessarily want to get up out of that. Um, you also should avoid... Um, Hmm. Stressing, stretching yourself too thin. If you have like multiple streams of income and it, 
they may be all over the place and they may, you know, cause you to not have that much personal time, then you may be needing to not stretch yourself thin. Okay. Busy culture is keeping people in this, you know, perception that you just need to stay busy when being busy doesn't necessarily mean that you're successful either. Now, what you should embrace, we have the seven of pentacles. Um, so this is the work that you put into something and how you're, you're still having to be patient. And this is helping you stay diligent, stay on top of your A game, because a lot of times in life, we think that a little bit of action is just enough to take us to where we want to go. And patience will be the teacher in terms of hard work, in terms of divine timing and knowing when to sit back and allow things to kind of flow to us instead of trying to force things. Now, what obstacle you will face during the month of April, we have the nine of Pentacles. So this is being single for some of you. You may not necessarily want to be single, but during this time frame, you may be single um, or have to learn how to be single. Um, another obstacle may be just you feeling like you have to do everything on your own. So for instance, you could be a parent and you feel like you have to have all the responsibility of being a parent on your back. And this may be kind of stressful for you. Okay. Hmm. Also, this could be, um, an issue with getting somebody to actually commit, um, you could be single, but dealing with them. And then this person is just like wanting to stay single and free. And that could be a problem here. Now, where you can find support, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so this is through working on yourself. Um, the only way that you can be or you can feel better supported is through working on areas in your life where it is in disarray and being real with yourself in regards to that. So the support that you're really going to have is through self and through you being the, the force that corrects a lot of things. In your life, especially if you're tired of certain energies. Now, what you are going to have to take action on in the month of April, we have the Knight of Swords. Um, so anything that you may have impulsively done. So this could be like impulsively, you know, going off on somebody and then you may have to take action in terms of apologizing about that. If you may have, you know, acted too quickly in terms of going off on somebody without all the details. Or any sort of impulsive decision that you may have made that may have messed things up more than fixed things, you are going to have to take action on fixing that. Um, also, this month is more of like a forewarning. Make sure you aren't just acting with the swiftness and not really thinking about the consequences of said actions. Now, the last card we have, advice, we do have the Queen of Wands. Um, so the advice here is you guys need to get your personal energy in order, um, in order for you to better succeed this month. If you don't have the energy or if you don't have the wherewithal to keep pushing yourself, you're going to have a really hard month. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know that now. Um, but yeah, oh, also there may be a fire sign of significance. Don't let this person throw your energy off too much. But let's just stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you did take something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, check out the description box if you would like a personal. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.